Today begins a wild week of travel, and I'm gonna take you behind the scenes of it all. In total, I traveled more than 20,000 kilometers, visited four countries, took five flights, and met over 100 people. It started off in Papua New Guinea. Welcome to Papua New Guinea! Where I spent three incredible days. I learned a lot about the country in my short time. I stayed at a friend of a friend's house, Bruce, who kindly drove me all over the place. The highlights of PNG were admiring the green countryside, learning words in some of the 860 languages, meeting friendly locals, and trying some street food. Bruce and I are up in the highlands, we're getting some street food. On the second day in PNG, I got stung by a bee for the first time in my life. Change of plans, I got stung by a bee. Ah. My pinky was swollen and numb for about five days, but luckily I wasn't allergic. Next, I headed to Bali, where I spent a little more than 24 hours. Welcome to Bali! It was my third visit to this amazing island, and this time I purposely squeezed it in so I could film another episode of How Much Fun Can You Have in Bali with $100 in 24 Hours? The highlights of Bali were driving a motorbike across the island, visiting the rice terraces, wandering through multiple temples, watching the sunset on the beach, and eating nasi goreng. Finally, I had to Timor Leste. 6 a.m. at the airport on my way to East Timor. One of the world's newest countries and my 135th overall. Benvenu Benvenu by Timor -Leste. I met another friend of a friend, Nata. Hey guys. Who was also very helpful in showing me around. Timor Leste really captured my heart with its beautiful people, stunning nature, and fascinating culture. We did so many things in such a short time, but my favorites were hiking up to the Jesus statue, visiting local markets, and digging deeper into the LGBT scene, which Nata and his friends Started. Finally, I headed back to Bali for 10 hours, but just stayed and worked in the airport before heading back home to Manila. <sighs> Home. Despite a hectic week of travel, I still managed to film, edit, and produce seven videos. I slept about four hours a night, edited on every plane, and took advantage of every Wi-Fi hotspot I could find. Many people ask me, Drew, are you tired of traveling? And my answer is not even close. I would do this week all over again in a heartbeat. I'm simply addicted to meeting new people, learning about new cultures, seeing hidden places of our planet, and telling all of these stories to you. So what's next for May? The Philippines, Cambodia, Maldives and Iran, but this time I'll be with my better half. I'm Drew Binsky, and if you like my travel videos, please click subscribe and join me as I plan to visit every country in the world.